Thursday's edition of Butch Crime Discussion. I am your Thursday fam, uh, Miss Diva. Um, this week's topic is abuse, and not so much the physical abuse, but the mental and emotional abuse. Um, this topic this week hit really close to home for me. Um, I just want to thank all of my fellow panelists for sharing their stories. Your stories have been great. They've been senses of inspiration. There's been just great dialogue being opened up with this. So I want to say thank you to all of them. Um, I'm going to tell you guys about my experience with this. Um, I've been in a couple relationships where I have faced things like emotional abuse and mental abuse and things like that. Um, my first experience was with one of my ex-boyfriends. Let's call him Bob. And Bob and I were dating for about three months. I think I was in my, I had just graduated and I was starting university. So it was the summer between that and Bob, Bob was a jackass. Well, just, I'm sorry, the language in here, I hope I don't offend anyone, but Bob was a jackass. Um, I remember nights where I'd be worried about school and I'd be worried about what I'm going to be doing with my future and things like that. And he would just look at me here and be like, you know, you're never going to accomplish anything. At that point, I wanted to become a special education teacher. And he would just look at me and he'd tell me, he's like, you're never going to accomplish it. He's like, you are going to help people really when you need so much help yourself? When you're messed up yourself, when you're fucked up yourself, you can't even solve your own issues. So how are you going to solve other people's issues? And in times like that, I would just be like, oh, well, you know what? Whatever. You're just hating on me. No, no, no. And it started off like that. And it got to... Got to a serious point where... I remember one day I just stayed up crying. I was bawling my eyes out. And it was because Bob had told me that he had told me that he had told me that um I wasn't smart enough to think for myself and that he was and he has been controlling my mind for months now and he told me that I would never be able to get out of this situation and he was always going to have mind control over me and after he told me that I broke down I was like, no, I'm strong enough to fight this. I'm strong enough to fight this. But then, at that time, I had just gone through other incidents with boyfriends before. And I was looking for that reassurance that someone loved me. So the minute after he would tell me something like that, he would be like, but you know I love you, so it doesn't matter. And that crushed me. Looking back at it now, it it really crushed me. But at the same time, I truly believe that, you know, what doesn't kill you only can make you stronger. 
can only make you stronger. And mental and emotional abuse is something that is the hardest to deal with because it leaves the most scars there. And those are the scars that you cannot see. It's not things that you can be like, oh, pow. Now you see my cheek, it's swollen and it's bruised and all that. It's more like, you're a fat ugly bitch. Pow. It hits straight to the heart. After a while, being told all these things, you start believing that you're ugly, you're never going to accomplish anything, you're never going to be anything in life, you're never going to do what it is that you need to do. But for me, I'm the kind of person that, no matter how much abuse I went through, I've always been able to be like, you know what, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to take all that stuff that people tell me and I'm going to just add it to the feel and I'm going to come out victorious and I ran into Bob not too long ago a couple months ago and I told him I was like you remember how you said that I was never going to accomplish this I was never going to be able to do this and I told him that you know what I have accomplished this and I was victorious in it and I was a strong leader in the field that I wanted to go into. I was able to get A's in my classes. I was able to rise up and be counted for something. And for all those people that are going through emotional and mental abuse, I just want to tell you guys, like, honestly, don't listen to the lies that you're being fed. You are strong, you are beautiful, and whatever it is that people are telling you, you are, that is hurting you every single day, do not listen to it. Do not listen to it. You need to realize, you need to find love inside of yourself. Once you love yourself, no one can tell you any of these lies that they've been, they've been telling you. I've been able to, it took me a while, but I now can say that I do love myself and I love life. I have amazing friends. I have an amazing girlfriend who is an amazing support to me any time of day. And she just truly has taught me how to love and what love is supposed to feel like. And I know that whoever is stuck in this situation, you will find that person too. You will find the person that makes you feel love, that makes you feel beautiful. So you don't have to worry about leaving the person that you're with right now and stepping out and being your own person. But yeah, that's all I gotta say for right now. Peace and love, y'all. Have a good weekend.